Hi, I'm Sally Briggs, and if this is your first time here, I just pray that you'll stick with this. It'll only be a few minutes long, but I really believe that God has drawn you here right now to hear this. And for those of you who have been watching me or following me, um, bless you, and um, I just pray this message touch your, touches your heart exactly where it needs to be touched. So Heavenly Father, I thank you for this message. I thank you, God, that you spoke into my own heart and you're continuing to remind me of it. And it's such an important message. And Lord God, I pray it speaks to each one here and now, wherever they are, however distance they are away, whatever time of day they are in, Lord, that they would be touched by your spirit and by your word through your message. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So what I want to share is something that God showed me the other day. And I know I've shared this a little bit with a group of women already, and but God is continuing to transform it and show me more. So what he has reminded me of is that when we are holding fast to something that is causing us to worry or to be concerned, God can't come into that situation because you're holding fast to it. You have got it. You've got it in your mind. It's come down all, already now from your mind down into your heart, into your spirit, where it can root and take hold and literally start to take control of your thoughts if you continue to allow it. And so what God showed me is that throughout the God's word, he talks that, or the Bible talks about God's mighty right hand, his right hand of strength his right hand of protection, his right hand of guidance. Throughout God's word, the right hand of God is so very important. But when you're holding tight to whatever you're holding tight to, you can't release and take, go, take hold of God's right hand, his mighty right hand that will take control of your situation and be the caretaker of your situation if you're willing to give it to him or give them to him or whatever it is that's consuming your mind. So for myself, my struggle for many years has been my sons. I adore my sons. One's 32, one is 29, Tanner and Parker. They are both engaged. Um, I love their girls and I just, I can get caught up in my mind um, about their lives. They have some situations in their lives that I think could be different. I think if they listen to maybe their father, my husband, not the heavenly father, although he'd be most important to listen to, or if they would listen more to me, that their path would be straighter. But I, I can't do anything truly about how they're going or what they're doing. And so often the thing that we're holding tight to is something that we have no control over. It could be finances. It could be a job situation. It could be your relationship with your significant other. It could be an illness. Whatever it might be, oftentimes there isn't really anything we can do about it, and yet we choose to think on it and think on it and allow it to get down into our into our spirit, where then it truly affects our relationship with the Father, and we're not able to bring the Father's power and strength and blessing into the situation because we have held on to it so tightly, and we have allowed it to take over and consume our spirit and our minds, which is your spirit and your soul. Your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotions, and your spirit is the spirit you're born with, that resides with the Holy Spirit who lives within in you once you've invited Christ to be your Lord and Savior. So if you, not, if you didn't realize that before, listen to this part again. Get it in your heart that you are spirit, soul, and body. And when you start allowing that thing to affect your spirit, to go deeper than your soul, which is your mind, and down into your spirit, that's when it can cause havoc in your life. So again, you have to choose to release it. Choose to release it. So I've been reminding myself lately 
to open my hand and release my sons into my father's hand, his powerful right hand. And in that process, then, I can take hold of God's powerful right hand. And I can move through this trial with him because I'm holding him. I've got him. I have his righteousness. I have his strength to get through it. I have his peace, his joy. All that he provides me, I have because I've chosen to hold on to him instead of holding on to that thing that has been consuming me and my mind and spirit. So whatever it is that's consuming you, choose to look at it in your mind, whether it's a thing, whether it's an object, whether it's a person, and put that thing in your right hand where you've been holding on to it so tightly anyway, but choose to release it, to release it to your heavenly father. He tells us to cast all our cares to him. Choose to cast that care to your heavenly father and then take hold of his hand. Take hold of his hand and picture yourself taking hold of his hand so that he can be the one to lead you through and get you past. And he also can be the one that comes in with his mighty power in your situation, in your children's lives, in your spouse, in your job, in your financial situations, whatever it might be in your illness. When you allow him and you hold to his hand, his power is made available to you. It's made available to you because you've let let go of that control of whatever it is that's been consuming your mind and your spirit. So Heavenly Father, I thank you for this sweet message that you gave to me. I thank you for the power that's in it. And Lord God, that we can do it through you. We can do it through you because through your son, you have given us the strength to overcome whatever we need to overcome. And so often the battlefield is in our mind, and that's what we need to overcome. But we need to release it to you, release it to you, trusting in you, and then taking hold of you, taking hold of your right hand, and walking with you through this trial, through whatever trial it is, praising you and thanking you that we're going to make it through on the other side, And whatever your timing is, it's going to be perfect. And I pray this in Jesus' name over everyone who is listening now. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you all and have a beautiful day.